I'm Aaron Baker from PhoneDog.com, and it's part two of the full video review of the HTC One. Now, this thing is gorgeous, and it's packing some incredible internals under the hood. Is this the Android phone to get? Should you hold off for a little bit for the Galaxy S4, or maybe for the LG Optimus G Pro to hit the states? We'll find out in the full video review of the HTC One part two, which starts right now. CCS locked down front tail something something something. It's a text message I got during the break. This is part two of the HTC One full video review. We're going to talk about the camera. We're going to talk about specs and more in part two of a two-part video review. But before we start that, I'm going to give some love to our partners at Best Buy Mobile because they give us devices like this for use in our One Paw Bandit giveaway game, which we give to you for free on the site at instantwin.phonedog.com. So when you go into Best Buy Mobile to get your HTC One at some point, you're going to get unbiased representatives. So whether it's AT&T, Sprint, or T-Mobile with the one that works the best for you, they're going to make sure you're hooked up with what works best in your area because they're unbiased. And that's really nice at Best Buy Mobile. So we're going to jump right into part two here and take a look at speed test. Now, this is an unlocked device. This is not indicative of what the U.S. branded version or the U.S. variant of the HTC One is going to be like when it hits the States. But this is running an AT&T SIM card. going to throw it on a Dallas server. Just want to give you an idea of what the HSPA Plus speeds look like on this device. I've been pretty pleased so far. I've been getting speeds between like four and seven to eight at max megabits per second on the download. Anywhere from one to two megabits per second on the upload. Not as great on the upload, but you know it's an unlocked device. It's not optimized for AT&T or T-Mobile for that matter, so keep that in mind. Download 5.97 megabits per second. Upload looking at about 1.2 mm, I don't know what I'm doing right now. It's 441 and I've had too much caffeine apparently. 1.40 megabits per second on the upload. So expect what you know, kind of what you would expect from HSPA Plus connectivity. So we're going to load up Quadrant Standard here and take a look because you're going to be incredibly impressed. Pretend like you didn't just see that. And unfortunately, it stopped. What do you know? Let's try it again. And we'll take a look. And I'm going to talk about speaker quality, battery life, and more. So overall, I've been really impressed with the speaker quality on this. I have a hard time hearing on some cell phones. Have a challenge from time to time with the Note 2. I've been really impressed, and the Galaxy S3 as well. I've been really impressed with the HTC One. The speakers on this sucker are second to none. Fantastic all around. Call quality is great. Been really pleased. There's some noise canceling uh, issue or noise canceling microphones in the back that you can take advantage of when you're on the phone. People that I talked to said I sounded clear and I could be understood pretty easily. Probably even understood more easily than I can on video, which is definitely definitely a feat. So that's fantastic. Battery life, 2,300 milliamp hour non-removable battery. You're going to see about mm, 10 to 12 megabits per second, or excuse me, uh, 10 to 12 hours uh, on this device. And that, you know, unfortunately, is kind of par. That was for me with heavy use. I think you can get a little bit more if you're a little bit more moderate with your use. But keep in mind when this comes to the U.S., there'll be LTE variants. So you're looking at AT&T and Sprint LTE variants. And then at some point, LTE on T-Mobile as well. And that's going to be a little bit of a battery drain. So I'd say, you know, for me, I found that any time around 6 or 7 o'clock at night, if I pulled it off the charger, at, you know, when I wake up about 6 in the morning, I have to charge it at least once or at least give it a little bit of juice to make it through the rest of the day. So that's something to keep in mind. Your device, 1,000, or excuse me, 12,343. So 12,343 in quadrant standard, it's fantastic all around from a speed perspective. Very impressive right there. Now, this is something else I wanted to highlight. So you're in settings, let's say, for example, and you hit home. Notice it actually doesn't go home. It actually goes back to your menu. So if you're in an application, for example, you're in Chrome, it goes back to the menu, so you have to hit home twice to actually get back. These are a couple of different little random quirks that I found out about Sense 5. So I think what they're trying to do is make it easier for consumers, but there are these random ones where I'm kind of like, it's a little bit different. Now, I'll show you another example. Notice this. When I pull the Chrome one off, you'd think this would bring the shortcut over to the desktop and it wouldn't replace it. Wrong. It just keeps replicating over and over again. What you have to do is go into menu and physically remove it like this. And once you remove it in the menu, it puts it back in the little menu area and you can bring it back down as you see fit. Kind of weird. That's something it took me actually a couple of days to figure that out. I'm like, why is it just replicating every time on my desktop? Another thing that I noticed, for example, calculator, you have to bring it up to a shortcut and then bring it to the desktop. So you can't just bring it directly to the actual home screen itself. So little quirks like that, just different 
all around. We're spend the last half of this review focused on the camera. We're gonna go into the camera and take a look first of all at just what's in the camera itself. So you can see the interface here, a little bit different from the other HTC devices, and you can see the shortcut to Zoe right here. So I'm gonna click on that, and you'll see the little Zoe thing pop up there in the bottom center area, and you'll see some pictures I've taken as well. So I can scroll through and just take a look at some of these pictures. I've been incredibly impressed with the camera on this device. It's a four ultra pixel camera. So don't compare that anywhere in the same class as megapixels. HTC is redefining the camera and they're doing it on their flagship one device. It's an incredible camera all around, been incredibly impressed with the performance of it. The Zoe feature is fantastic. I'm gonna show you in just a second what exactly a Zoe is. So I've got my camera shots here and I can go right here and take a look at the Toyota one I shot, a couple from my car. And there's bicycle, the word I shot is an example. And so let's go into the gallery though and take a look because it's a little bit of a different preview. So I'll go into gallery and you'll see right here, go back and you can see my photos and you're gonna see they're organized by day. So you can see, for example, today, the 18th of March, and you can see that it's actually moving. It's a real time picture because I've taken a combination of Zoe's and still shots. So I can come in here and you can see my Zoe is created right up here. This is kind of the, the ultra video, if you will. It's a combination of all my Zoe's and all of my images. Then you're gonna see the images down here. And so this was the Zoe, one of the Zoe's that I took. So you can see I can click on it. And it's a three second Zoe, just a quick video. And then you can see the still pictures as well. A couple that I took here, the word that I took, bicycle. And so then I can come back out here and take a look at the full Zoe. So you can see it's moving real time in the gallery, which I think is pretty cool. Here is the Zoe itself. Very cool, and of course with the boom sound speakers, incredibly loud, really impressed with the performance of the sound. And you can see it's combining that Zoe that I took, and you can see how much more rich this gets. Obviously I did this in about two minutes just by taking some random pictures outside of the office and uh, in my car, but you can see how much more rich this can get if you take, let's say, 50 pictures throughout the day, or 20 pictures and 10 Zoe's. It'll combine all those together to make a great little video that you can send, it's 30 seconds long, and you can share it on Facebook, you can send it to friends, all you have to do is hit share, and you can share it right there quickly and easily. So I can come in here, for example, let's go back to the Zoe and I'll show you this too. Select content, and I can select what I want to be involved in the Zoe, if I wanna be more specific. And I can also go down here and say save, and save that, and go right back. So I wanna show you one more thing here. I'll go down here, and you can see I can change around, and it'll do a little bit of a different color theme, a different music. You can see obviously some of the effects are different. So it's really intended to make this camera all about you. So you take some Zoe's, you're at a wedding, you're at a soccer game, take some Zoe's, take some stills, bring all those together and it really creates a custom image that defines you. And that's what I think HTC is going for here. That sounded a lot like a marketing theme, but I promise it is a really cool feature and I've been really impressed with it. And at the end, you'll notice, we get up here to the end and it'll say HTC Zoe and the date that it was filmed, Dallas, March 18th filmed with HTC Zoe. So comparatively speaking, they don't take up a whole lot of space, but you've got 32 or 64 gigabyte variants as you see fit. So really impressive all around. Love the camera. And we'll take a look real time here at the front facing camera as well as we sign off so you can see what it's like. Now HTC claims the actual lens, a little bit wider here so you can get more people in one picture. I've got my flash, I've got my settings over here so I can go into scenes and pick HDR, sweet panoramas. I've got my different scenes, my video quality, ISO, all the different stuff that you'd expect. We can switch over to the front camera and you can really see how much more viewing angle you get here. You can see me, you can see the camera, you can see the microphone, you can see all the lights above me that are probably blinding you both here and here on the camera, but just really impressive performance all around. And then of course you can change it as you see fit. So if you really wanna tweak it, I'll go in here for example, actually, let me go back. And let me go, and I can do the countdown, or I can go back and let's switch it right back around to the front facing camera. And I'll go back to the back, back to the back, and I can select more of those, turn Zoe off, and I can select different types if I see fit. So if I like this one, which is where how some of the pictures come up, I can choose that one if I so desire. Last but not least, I wanna talk about contacts before we sign off, and I'm gonna show you one of the people contacts here, just so you can see American Airlines Platinum, for example, what it looks like, you got your work number, you got your messaging, and forgive me for pulling it away, I am using this as my personal device, so all of my personal contacts are in here and I can't show those on camera. So much like typical HTC, you can see it's kind of a Windows 8 scroll here, and the fact that it's got details, threads, and updates, it shows me the last times that I've called American Airlines Platinum Desk. I've got the picture here, which is an American Airlines 767-300 if you're a plane buff, or a 763 if you wanna get really nerdy. Ringtone, block contact, set default action. I can come in here and edit 
as well and link those together as I see fit. So kind of similar here. Again, you've got the Roboto font all around. And that brings me into the phone book. You can see here I dialed 611 is my last call. The numbers here are a little bit different. Then I can scroll over and see my favorites or my history and I have easy access again just by swiping. All in all, this is an incredible phone. The HTC One is the best thing HTC's ever put out. The build quality is gorgeous. This thing is fast all around. It is the definition of a flagship phone. It's got a quad-core processor, two gigabytes of RAM, an incredible camera, HTC Zoe, super cool. If I had to pick one thing I wish were a little bit better about this phone, it'd be battery life. That really is the only thing. Some people are gonna say they wish it had Android 4.2. Honestly, 4.1 works great. Not really that concerned about it. I think the mainstream consumers aren't really gonna care about that. Sense 5 works great. It's not near Really is bloaty. It's got some great features all around. Blink feed is super cool. HTC Zoe is super cool. Really impressed with all of that stuff. Battery life's the one thing. I would love to see a slightly larger battery, yeah, considering the fact it's internal. I'd like to be able to make it through the day without charging. Even if I get to the nighttime and it's at 15%, I'd love to be able to make it without charging at you know six, seven, eight o'clock at night just to get through a remaining few hours. Otherwise, very impressed with the performance of this device. Love, 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 love the way it feels in the hand. I've honestly been carrying this around just to be carrying it around because I like the way it feels. It is a premium smartphone in every aspect of the word. And for a lot of people, if you're paying, you know, $199 or $249, whatever the case may be, when this phone launches, I don't know about the pricing in the U.S., it's a really a premium smartphone that really feels like you're getting the maximum bang for your buck. Hardware is here. Software for me, I think the Galaxy S4 has got a compelling software suite, but this thing has some incredible features all around like Zoe, Blink Feed. I think the mainstream consumer is really going to love. Keep it locked on PhoneDog.com for more on the HTC One. Let me know what you think of this phone on Twitter at PhoneDog underscore Aaron. Facebook, Facebook.com slash Hi Aaron Baker. Google Plus, PhoneDog is our username. Check that out as well. Thanks so much for watching, and as always, we'll see you next time.